Hello, my name is Mia Tegnor and I'm a librarian at Indian River State College. Today I'm going to teach you how to search and watch videos in the Films on Demand database. To access any of IRSC's online databases, start at www.irsc.edu. Then click on the Quick Links tab in the top right hand corner. Then click on the Libraries link directly above that. This will bring you to the library's homepage. Once you reach the library's homepage, click on Databases by Subject in the right-hand column. This will bring you to a login screen. Students have access to online databases through IRSC from any computer or mobile phone on or off campus, but you must first log in with your student ID number as your borrower ID and the month and the day of your birthday as your PIN password. For example, if your birthday is May 29th, your password will be 0529. You can also always contact any library staff member if you encounter problems with your login. Once you're logged into the databases, click on Digital Videos and then Films on Demand. This will take you to the Films on Demand main page. You can search for videos by typing your search term at the top of the page in the search box, or you can browse videos by most popular, date added, and a variety of other categories on the main page. Let's practice searching for a specific video first. At the top of the screen, let's type our search term into the box. Since we'd like to find a version of Edgar Allan Poe's The Cask of Amontillado, I'll start my search by typing in the title of that work. In this case, the database has auto-corrected to The Cask of Amontillado and Edgar Allan Poe's The Cask of Amontillado, even before I'm done typing. Let's click on that second option because it provides us with more information about the specific work by including the author's name, and it also appears to be the exact title of the work that your instructor has requested that you view. In this case, clicking on the autocorrected search brings us directly to the video that we'd like to watch. The sections of the video can be seen to the right-hand side of the screen, so you can move between specific portions of the work. You will also see a transcript tab, which will let you see the full script of the video and any sound effects that are included. In this transcript tab, if you'd like to click on a section of the story, it will bring you to the specific point in the video. Right below the video, it will also give you some additional options. You'll see a description or summary of the video, as well as related tags that might bring you to other videos that are interesting to you. If you scroll down, you'll also see a collection of videos that you might also like and might also be relevant for your searches. Now that you've watched the video for the Cask of Amontillado, let's go over broad search tips in order to find more information about Edgar Allan Poe. Scroll up to the top of the page and type your search term in the box. Remember, use keywords, the author's name, or specific titles instead of complete sentences for a more successful search. Hit the search button and you'll see that we can find additional dramatizations of Poe's short works, biographic information, and much more. If you'd like to narrow your results, all you have to do is click on the filter options at the top left hand side of the screen. This will allow you to narrow by copyright dates or when the video was produced, languages, and subjects, as well as some other categories like producer, for example, if you only like videos about Edgar Allan Poe and his works that were published within the last five years, you can click on that limiter under copyright dates. Then hit apply and it'll bring you to your new search. Now that you have a narrow search of videos, you can click on the title and it will bring you to that full video transcript and additional information. This concludes our short lesson on searching the Films on Demand database. Please don't hesitate to contact any of the IRC librarians for help with searching, viewing, or accessing our resources.